hello friends so let's welcome to all of you so today we will start the files of we will understanding the 997 transaction set and how we need to use and what is the meaning of the 997 transaction set and in which industry we generally use this so let's start uh the 997 file okay the, it, this is the eda transaction set and this is the 997 which is used for the functional acknowledgement files okay and the eda 997 external acknowledgement is assigned as a response to the other edi transactions received okay uh this is the meaning like suppose if we are using the 997 file then once file has been signed to the receiver end then we will get the acknowledgement of the file that file has been successfully received at the receiver end okay and EDI 997 serves as a receipt of the acknowledgement that EDI transaction set or series of the transactions was successfully transmitted and received by the receiver receiving trading partner. Okay. And uh, how is the EDI 997 functional acknowledgement specification used? So if we are talking about the how we can use this, then the, this is the functional acknowledgement serves as a receipt of the file and uh, receiving the trading partner in the response to a transaction set by the sending trading partner. In this meaning, one trading partner can send the file to the another trading partner mm -hmm. and by using the 997 and it is a types of a receipt. Okay. Once file is loaded and is successfully sent to the mm, receiver end. And it's important to note that when mm, and a 997 is sent, it's only notification that sender mm, note to the notification to the sender that the original transaction arrived and was processed accordingly. It does not give any indication that receiving trading partner agreed to the content of the original transactions okay so edi 1097 format if we are talking about the format of the 997 file the 997 this six function of the 997 acknowledgement the ff provides information on the problems found on the structure content of the edi transaction such as a mandatory segment or element missing or invalid code it's not just a data received okay and the 997 file acknowledgement received of the uh, one of the more one or more transaction it reports especially based on the x12 and sex12 american standard x12 syntax not backend applications data compliance okay so if you are talking about the 997 could use the total six different segment in their body parts okay of the transaction between the sc and sc okay sc and st and sc and is dependent on the level of being details being reported two segment types uh, must be present in this uh, 997 first is the ak1 which is called the functional acknowledgement group response header and which ends another one is the ak9 which is called functional group response trailer okay and these simply report that a specific functional group ge or ges or g envelope has been received okay this segment pair also come include the number of transactions that received and accepted example if we are talking about the accepted or accepted with the errors or might be rejected okay these are the information we can receive okay uh, this is considered Mm -hmm. a simple summary 97 since it's referenced by the entire group the transaction okay rather than mm, to in individual transaction like a one zero invoice it's used for invoice while the level of the information is often uh, enough to support most eda applications some organization prefer the 997 to report on each transaction individually therefore in addition to the ak1 and ak9 segment two other segment could also be included between these two segments AK1 and AK9. Okay. And this and this is the AK2 and AK5. These are the two transactions, AK2 and AK5 also included between the AK1 and AK9 transaction set in the 997 file. And what is the AK2 and AK5? AK2 is the transaction set response header and AK9, AK5 is the transaction set response trailer. Okay. And STN as E envelope as well. Okay. So uh, this segment pair report the uh, status, report the state of the each tra transaction separately using the same acceptance status, like example, accepted, accepted with error or might be rejected. Okay. Uh, this is considered as a detailed 997 since it's reference each transaction individually. All 997 functional group and or transaction set status 
uh, are coded inside the status carrying A5 transcripts, AK5 transcriptions, and AK9 good segment for easy idiot translator interpretation. If the uh, 997 indicate an error, for example, error code 5 or one of more seg segments in error, that uh, 997 will report additionally details uh, to simplify mm, the process of linking the error back to the original originating translation translation transaction sorry okay the following segment to provide the report capability to zero in the uh, uh, correct error okay in the exact error the, the um, ak3 and ak4 the data segment and in element segment note these are the things for the ak3 and ak4 okay so let's move if no error uh, occurred then the ak3 and ak4 segment fair would be omitted otherwise the ak3 ak4 would be repeated for each errors founded found on the report on a reported transaction common errors included like mandatory segment or element missing okay and uh, this might be an in invalid character in the data as well okay and uh, might be like invalid course condition qualifiers as well and mismatch control point counters and mismatched data types these are the error can be uh, <clears throat> reported and incorrect element length and many others many many system com commonly reco reconcile 997 functional acknowledgement both incoming and outgoing verifying the acknowledgement reporting has occurred inside predetermined window of time and confirm that all transactions were accepted if a 997 functional acknowledgement is late either incoming or outgoing or has reported an error on a production transaction site the host a translator can intervene interpret the problem and send the notification to backend system or the ADI analyst assigned to the resolve such issue often resulting in the correction and transmission by the offending party okay so these are the thing for function acknowledgement we generally use and uh, function acknowledgement validation status like FA reconciliation should not just ask the question did I get an FA or it should also ask the whether the document has been validated mm, there are four validation status one is accepted another is uh, A for accepted E for accepted with errors uh, third is P for uh, partially partially accepted at least one transaction what transaction was rejected or fourth one is a uh, fourth and last one is R is rejected okay so these are the thing we can understand this is the rejected and this is the accepted okay and your con reconciliation process should be checking for rejections at a minimum but also you know, for error and partially accepted status uh, those status may reflect a change in the standard or in, in your partners it's required requirement that you have not uh, taken into your account or may not have, be aware of uh, they can also mean mm, that you have provided incomplete or incorrect data if e r or mm, and or p statuses are received on a regular basis if mm, it may be time to check your mapping and like, application data for those transactions understanding the errors that exist in a mm, document can be extremely helpful especially in the cases where rejected rejection has occurred even uh, when accepted but with the errors you have the information needed to make the correction needed to improve going forward knowing the functions of um, and implementing an automated 997 reconciliation process can save considerable time and money for your organization the 997 could use up to a total of six different segment types in the body of the segment okay the body the 997 could be used use use up mm, of a total six segment total six segment in the body like mm -hmm. task succession between the se and se dependent information as well okay and eda 997 specification if we are talking about the specification of 997 this is the x this is the x12 is in set contain the format and establishing the data for content of the functional acknowledgement transaction set 997 for use within the con context of an electronic data interchange environment the transaction set can be used to define the control structure 
uh, for a set of acknowledgement to indicate the result of the um, synthetical analysis of the electronically coded encoded documents the encoded um, documents are the transaction set which are grouped grouped in the functional group okay uh, use in the def defining transaction for the business data interchange this standard does not cover the same semantic meaning of the information encoded in the transaction set okay and last file the uh, 987 file overview if you are reading about that this is the file overview you can see um, on the screen sample 997 and and this is the ISA start from the header and this information like for the GS segment we can pass the information like sender ID group ID and for the ISA we can check the information acknowledgement and 997 is prefer or not okay for the AK1 and AK AK1 and AK2 there is the information we can see at here okay there is the group number as well and group control number are also passing at the AK2 okay and uh, transaction that response header is called ak5 is accepted or rejected this is a showing its mean this is the accepted ak9 uh, ak91 okay 01 it's called the accepted okay no any rejection are there and s is envelope to ending with the st envelope okay and g is also ending envelope for the gs segment okay and isa mm, start from the isa and it's going to end from the iea envelope okay so these are the information if we have we have read about this and so this is the 97 transaction set please like share and subscribe to this channel uh, if you like my video for the upcoming video please share a comment as well how do you like it okay thank you friends if please like share and subscribe this video